Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to talk about uh, how to troubleshoot your glance face uh, to get it to work together with your Fitbit Versa 2 on Dexcom. So don't go anywhere, stay close. A few months ago I've made a video in which I show uh, how to set up uh, for, for the first time your glance uh, clock face to get it to work with your Fitbit Versa 2 and Dexcom. Um, if you want to see that video, please go ahead, uh, click on top of this window or go on my channel and search for it. Uh, over there, I, it's like a short guide how to set it up first time, what you need to do to get it to uh, work together with your Dexcom on your mobile. Uh, so if you want to see that, go ahead and see that. This video is going to be only for uh, what you need to do in case you have problems. So you, you got it to work for a while, but then it started to have problems. Uh, in this video, I'm going to do the example only for Apple users. Unfortunately, I don't have an Android around uh, the house, so I can do both examples. But I don't think that would be a problem because uh, most of the, the settings you can find them on Android but it's just not going to be the same place where you click and go. But if you watch it carefully and you look, I think you, you can find your way. So let's get to it, guys. I'm, I'm going to switch on my mobile. I'm going to record my screen and I will explain um, what you need to do in specific uh, cases. Uh, I will switch from one to another one. So next part of the video, I'm going to be on my uh, mobile. Don't go anywhere. So if you need a soft reset because you experience communication problems, uh, this is how you should do it. So we have to go to the phone settings, sorry, settings, and uh, go Bluetooth. And once we go to Bluetooth, we need to go uh, to our watch, whatever watch we have. In our case, it's uh, in my case, it's Versa 2, so you keep the eye. And then you need to go forget device. Forget this device. Okay, once you did that, you need to go into the Fitbit app. So you have to open the Fitbit app uh, and you have to click on the Versa 2 here, appeared already because it's been uh, already scanned and found by my app. And you'll get pop up with this, with this message. Bluetooth pairing requests, Versa 2 would like to pair with your iPhone. And you have to click pair. And now, uh, hopefully, your clock will start to pick up. Guys, if you did what I just showed you in the previous vi video, but you still have problems with uh, com communication, with the connection between the two devices, then you should try and do this. Go into the settings. Uh, and now you go in general. And you look for background app refresh, which is down here. You click this and you need to go down to your source from which you read the blood sugar data. In my case, it's Dexcom. You see it here, yeah? You have to turn this on. And you also have to go to Fitbit. And you make sure it's turned on or flip it like that a few times. And uh, this, I found that this, this could help to make uh, communication more stable and to avoid losing data. In case uh, your watch face gets stuck, I heard some people get this, I never had this. Um, however, I'll, I'm going to show you what you should do about it. You have to basically remove the glance face from Fitbit app. So let's go to Fitbit app. And they will guide you through. Go open Fitbit. Uh, once you open Fitbit, you go to the glass. You have to click here, clock, and now clock faces. So you need to have here more than one uh, clock face installed. As you can see, I have a few of them, five of them. Now it's currently selected this one. So you're gonna have to have more if you have just one it's not gonna going to work uh, now let's select another face select now it's still saving i feel my watch vibrating i'm waiting for it to settle oh, okay 
to finish anyway now it's selected and uh, I go here and I remove clock face remove and now this is it clock face has been removed okay so now uh, we need to reinstall the glass face so we go on the old clocks we click search tap here and we put the uh, glance we hit the search now we get it here we click it and as you have in here you have to select now it's installing takes a while to install okay now it's done uh, you go on settings and now you have to fill in all the data here with uh, everything you need uh, you have to select the source here and then you have to put your username your password if you have to use this if you are from USA or not I'm not and then you select whatever measurement units you prefer uh, threshold maximum or minimum uh, save minimum minus less than this and I have that yeah uh, I disable all right so I don't need that I have it from my watch from my phone 24 hours I prefer and then uh, color the background is black for me once you do that uh, and you fill it up with username or password uh, it should start work guys in case you tr you tried everything and still your watch doesn't get data from your Dexcom so you have to go and try this this is the last resort so you're gonna have to open Fitbit uh, I'll go back to my home page so in your Fitbit you uh, make sure before I, I almost forgot before you do this make sure your uh, watch is 100% charged it's, it's having full battery yeah so I'm we are going to remove uh, I'm not going to walk you through all this process I'm just going to show you because I, I don't want to go so far uh, but you go into inside your Fitbit and you go to your profile picture top left and now you are here and you click your watch which is down here and now you scroll down and you have this red here remove this Versa 2 uh, it's gonna be your model whatever model is and you click this and your um, watch will be removed from the Fitbit app and once you do that so you click this I'm not gonna do this but you, you do that and once you do that you go back uh, on your account here settings and you scroll down and you log out from Fitbit yeah so you go on your profile go back here you are here in the home screen where you have all the data with your whatever heart you did yeah so you go in the top left click on your picture on your profile picture and then you scroll down and you have here log out so you log out from your account I'm not logging out now but you log out and once you log out you, you go ahead and you you have to uninstall Fitbit so you just click here and delete app yeah and once you do that uh, you'll have to go back on the app store and you go through, you have to follow the, all the process you have to go you have to look for fitbit search fitbit like we did it first time fitbit and you install it in my case is here you'll, you'll have to reinstall it again you'll have to log in again and after you log in again you have to attach your fitbit versa 2 again and uh, it should pair again uh 
and hopefully this time it will it will work and but i will switch i will switch to my watch as well uh, the camera i will stop this and i'll, I'll show you uh, my watch as well because you need to do something on your watch as well this is what you need to do on the on the clock itself so after after you reset and you delete everything on your watch fitbit app and you delete your remove your clock from Fitbit and then you log out from Fitbit and you delete your Fitbit app then you have to go on your watch and you have to do this so you have to scroll down to go all the way to the settings screen here where is it I missed it settings click settings okay and once you do that you have to scroll down uh, to about click about tap it and then you go to factory reset so this is where you need to go so you have to reset your clock to factory reset settings so you click this oh sorry click it i'm not going to do it now it's coming with a message uh, this will clear all personal data and yap and you lose everything I'm not gonna you go reset and it's going through a full process uh, I did it before now I'm going to click cancel so you you do that and once you do that it will uh, reinstall it will update again you make sure you have full battery when you do it don't stay until you are uh, low on battery like I'm now 30% because it takes a uh, lot of resources and you, you don't want to uh, break your clock by losing battery in the middle of the update so you make sure you have battery you reset the factory settings and once you reset it you need to make sure uh, you go back and install your fitbit app you log in in your fitbit app with your account and then you add your fitbit uh, watch to your fitbit app and once you do that uh, they pair up you have to go and you install glance face again you download the glance face like we did before and once you do that, uh, you put your credential there and you start work, hopefully. Uh, if you want to see the settings, how I did it first time, I have a video about it. You can click it, a uh, pop-up window will uh, show up in the screen. Uh, this is it, guys. These are all the troubleshooting steps and uh, cases I've been given by Ryan. And this should help you solve your uh, communication uh, between your clock and your Fitbit. Versa 2. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, uh, leave any comments below with any uh, new ideas you want me to talk about. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.